this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to the Orc Gunwagon uh, Part 7. Okay, um, let's see. We need to, first let's make these things gray. Okay, and then make them all black. Um, we need to add some little uh, rivet things on the sides, so go to sphere, create a sphere here. Actually, no, don't do a sphere, do a cylinder. Create a cylinder, just so it fills up the entire space, bring it out, make it have five sides, actually six sides is better. Uh, increase the height to about 0.537, convert it to an editable poly, polygon mode, select those edges, and chamfer them. Okay, bring it back just a bit so it sinks in, then effect, effect pivot only, align to object, align it to the smokestack, okay, uh, rotate it using angle snap, 90 degrees, make three copies, and then select all of those copies that you just made, and using the move tool, hold shift, and bring them down to bottom there, and scale them outward a bit just so they pop out. And uh, if any of them are popping a little bit too much, you can just uh, move them in. But all mine look pretty good. So um, next, we're going to create. this kind of thing right here. Um, I'm going to do that by selecting this, going to edge mode, selecting these edges, uh, connecting them, slide it about mm, maybe negative Negative 50 looks good. Okay, select that polygon, uh, extrude it. Okay, extrude it about uh, 17. Okay, um, go into the edge mode, select these two end edges, uh, connect them, make sure you set the slide to zero. Polygon mode and delete that polygon. Select that. Hinge from edge. Pick hinge. Pick this middle edge. Make the angle 180 degrees with 18 segments. Okay. Uh, and hit delete so you get rid of this polygon uh, right there. Okay. Uh, go into the vertex mode and select just all those verte vertices. Weld. Uh, put the threshold back to 0.1 and you should have two vertices gone. Okay, um, next let's sham for that, so select that edge, that edge, loop them, ah, that worked rather nicely, um, chamfer with two segments, and we have a little problem right here, so just move this vertice down and to the left a bit. And do the same with this side, down and to the left of it. Okay. Next, let's uh, add uh, this little box right here. So let's isolate this piece. So. Apparently right clicking doesn't work when I'm using this screen recorder. Um, hold on. Okay, isolate it by right clicking and go into isolation mode. I can't do it with the screen recorder on. Um, then make sure you're on the right side, so if you're facing this way, you want to be on this side. Uh, create a box and make sure you have auto grid turned on. 
and right here create a box about that big so 25 for the length 9.4 for the width and about 1.23 for the height convert it to an editable poly uh, go into polygon mode you select this back polygon and you're going to want to bevel that out a bit uh, actually pull it out first so you can see what's happening then bevel it out okay now push it back in Oops. so that it reaches looks like it's coming out of there like it's welded in or something then uh, get this polygon and uh, chamfer the edges about 0.15 and now select these two edges and connect uh, twice okay in the polygon mode go here uh, bevel that in a bit, extrude it out by about mm, 1.5, actually 1. Okay, uh, select the um, select the edges again, chamfer them, okay, uh, then go up here bevel those okay um, then select those edges and deselect that middle one chamfer okay uh, get these two polygons um, inset by polygon let's create some little insets there uh, extrude them about negative point three okay then bevel, make sure the bevel goes back though. Okay, uh, next let's create uh, cylinders in here. So just generally line up a cylinder. Doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, make the sides 18. Okay, convert to an editable poly. Uh, select the outside edges and press chamfer, chamfer a bit. Okay, hit that polygon, inset it. Okay, bevel it inward a bit. Okay, uh, inset one more time and bevel this one outward. Okay, uh, now copy that down just in that other little section we have okay um... then let's create some cylinders here um... make these sides six auto grid on and create little cylinders uh... make the height about point zero one Convert to an editable poly, select that. Control, select the edges, chamfer. Uh, give it a small chamfer. Okay. Now just uh, place them by hand wherever you think it needs one. Listen until you fill it up. Alright, uh, that'll be it for part 7. I'll see you in part 8.